Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do issue 8 of the Solution by Ultraverse Comics. Yeah, we have more uh, Ultraverse Comics uh, in the works. Well, we, I mean, I, <laughs> that I want to show and talk about. This is issue 8. I uh, reviewed Till 7, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, just look at my channel and type in the Solution or Solution. Uh, you will find my reviews. Anyway, this is the last part of the origin of the solution and how they came together. And um, yeah, so let's dive in. So we have an event. Okay, let's. I, I skipped it on one page. This is a recap of what happened in the last, you know, two issues. I mean, the last two issues was the origin. Uh, I mean, how people came together, how uh, how it all worked out, and how it all ended. And I must say, um, the artist called. John Statema or Statema, Statema, I'm not sure how you pronounce it in English, but we call it Statema. Uh, he is freaking fantastic. I mean, look at the hair, look at the detail uh, of the hair and, and the clothes. And I don't know, this is freaking fantastic. Pay by part free, by the way. Um, so uh, I'm not going to recap everything that uh, happened in the last issue, but let's say... Um, one of our heroes, Troy, here uh, lost his eyes because of the villain Casino. Uh, she cut open his eyes and he's now blind. And uh, he needs to go to the hospital. But uh, this woman here says, no, you cannot, you cannot call the cops or the hospital because this, secret, uh, must, uh, this place must be a secret. So you need to get out of here. Um, but Leila, who is the leader of the, the solution, um, says, how did you... You know, deal with Casino. That's that's the woman here in the corner. She's been frozen. She says, I used Aaron magic. And um, I said, but who are you? And then she says, I am Era. Ah, look, look at this. Look at this. This is beautiful. I mean, I wish I, I wish I got a girl like with that kind of flowy, great hair. Wow, fantastic. I don't know, man. It's just, look at all these lines. And there's a lot of... You know, if I go back to the first, um, sorry, here, there's a lot of nice hatching with the shadows and with the, with the shading. Uh, the details are incredible. It's, it's fantastic. And uh, Leila has a pr proposition for her, but uh, on a later date. So uh, she brings uh, Troy out. At... What the hell is that? Okay, that was my drying machine I was going off. So if you hear a very high-pitched noise... Um, behind me, that was uh, that was that. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> that was unexpected. Uh, so um, uh, Leila, uh, you know, helps Troy go to um, go to the hospital, and then one of these girls that is, you know, here in the dungeon, and she says, "Hey, well, how would you with the casino? We can let her leave." And then um, Aaron uses um, magic, but not the magic that you and I are used to in comics. He used I don't know, runes uh, or something. And then she can use the runes to do different things with it. And uh, the, the effects here with the lighting, it, it look, look at this. This looks freaking fantastic. So she used the rune on, on Casino here. And basically it's a, a spell of forgetting, you know. So Casino doesn't know that she has been hunting um, Leila and, and, and Troy and, and where she is now. And so she forget everything. So... Um, then, uh, well, Troy and Leila come from the hospital and, and Troy cannot accept that he's now blind. He, uh, uh, he, he doesn't accept that. He has a hard time dealing with that. And then Leila says, well, what can I do? This, this is what it is. And she sa he says, well, no, there is another solution. Bring me to the same people that made you an ultra and buy me some new eyes. Yeah, that's great. I mean, have, just have a rich friend. <laughs> and said, hey, buy me some new eyes. And one snap in the finger, it's going to happen. Well, anyway, um, so meanwhile, in uh, somewhere in uh, the island of Taiwan, uh, or all of the you know overlords of the Dragon Fan Triad are sitting together for a monthly uh, I don't know talk analysis or whatever. They talk about finances, porn, people that they killed, and then the big boss says, um, "Hey, did you deal with uh, Leila Cho?" And then one of them says, "No, she's still." Missing. We saw her last in London, and 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 Casino was hunting her, and we didn't hear from Casino again. And well, he, he says contact all the people that are living in London working for us. We need her dead. 
uh, these people took over her company and, and, you know, basically corrupting everything that she is doing uh, with the company and, and her name too. So, um, meanwhile, later in the, uh, in the pub, skipping a few pages, um, Layla wants to talk, um, you know, about, I mean, era about joining the solution. Well, there's not really the solution name yet, but they, she says we're forming a team and then she using the magic and then she uses the magic to recall everything that's happened and what's going to happen. So she can also glimpse in the future. And, um, so this, so this is, she decides that she's going to join because there is a fourth member uh, coming soon. There has also become a fifth member, but it's way in the future. And then suddenly that fourth member is already here. And, um, and, and, and Aaron is, is very afraid. It seems that this guy is from an... Uh, well, let's say Aaron is, a, is from an alien race. Also, she doesn't say that, but I know that's you know, from the other comics that she's from an, an, an alien race. And, um, and this one too, and these two races are um, enemies, and this is called Verk. And uh, Verk is a uh, darker, or darkur, and yeah, basically they are hunting them. But there's something off with this guy, and he has also a good smell. So, um, so basically he also smells that Era is in the house, but then he just leaves. And Layla is, is um, very confused about what... Um, Era is talking about. I mean, that her magic is not really reliable because she says that um, she's gonna come back and, and or that he is gonna come back and try to kill her. And, and then, but Verk is going away. He just leaves the pub. And then Layla says, "Well, maybe we don't have, we don't want you." And well, basically, she says she is confused about that. The let me rephrase that. She wants to. She doesn't want Aaron to join the, the the group because of the the weird stuff that is happening recently. Uh, so she thinks she is uh, her, uh, unreliable, and that her talk about you know the future and what's gonna happen is is a little bit weird, etc. But Layla says, "Well, you're gonna need me soon, and then this is gonna happen." So um, before they go away and, and leave our uh, era here, um, Verk it's, it's burst uh, you know through the window and well. He's been thrown through the window because there's a creature hunting him. And, um, and Era says, well, this is, well, she's surprised because um, Verk is a shapeshifter. That's, that's what he can do. He's also, you know, pretty unkillable. Um, but this creature is also a darker or darkur. Not sure how you pronounce it correctly. So and she's very confused why a darkur hunts a darkur. Uh, so they are battling each other. And then... Um, uh, Verk uh, transforms it into his, you know, true self, his monster self. But then Ara steps in, and then uh, she uses some kind of a rune on the creature, and then it explodes in a pile of, you know, blood. It looks really cool. There's all this blood and guts all over him. And then he says, um, "What do you do that? Why do you do that, Aaron?" Um, she says, "Because I realized you were who you were. The prophecy foretold an enemy who was pursued by his people. You are the fourth member." Um, Leila, um, you know, realizes that she is telling, telling the truth all along and she apologizes and she said, hey, let's, we need to get out of here and they regroup outside somewhere. And um, basically they are, you know, talking about teaming up because, um, well, she um, needs the solution for, uh, well, I cannot talk about that now, uh, but for something, uh, Verk is running for his people and Leila and Troy needs those to you know and thus the solution was born so they made a pact um later and this is you know uh, hours months weeks later um troy gets an upgrade he gets new eyes yeah uh, the uh, enhanced eyes can see way better he also can yeah has some wetware implants in his head that he communicated by radio um using his mind but i believe he can also shoot you know, laser blast from his hands. That, that's not, you know, being told here. That's weird. And, and um, instead of the, you know, the, the dragon fang hunting Leila Cho, Leila Cho and the solution are hunting the dragon fang. They're hitting several uh, warehouses, um, you know, shutting uh, warehouses and, and operations down. And, uh, yeah, basically the, the table says turned. 
And then we go to back to the um, present again. Well, um, Layla and Troy, uh, and she's mourning her father who's dead. And then uh, they want to assassinate her, but then Verk and the others come, and they are uh, basically teaching these guys a lesson. And um, yeah, that's that. And then Aaron senses something. She says, I have the weirdest sensation, like my doom was approaching. And then the last page is that these weird creatures are teleporting somewhere in North America. And they look freaking great. And there is a uh, face of Aaron. So they, these creatures are hunting her. Wow. More hunting. Yeah, great stuff. Uh, I, I really like the solution. I, I told you guys that before. Um, I think this is a very great comic and the art looks spectacular. I mean, I cannot get over this hair. Look how good it is. It's just freaking amazing. This is probably the best uh, page. Well, is it? No. This one is. Definitely. So, guys, thank you, for my, uh, thank you so much for watching as always. Um, I see you next time for more uh, more reviews coming soon. Bye-bye.